Hello my lovely babies and welcome back. Today is Tasty Tuesday, so we're looking at a new e-liquid. Alright guys, so today we are taking a look at two flavors sent to me. These are from Fire Creek, and this is 100% USA made e-liquid. I can't for the life of me remember who sent me these e-liquids, if Fire Creek sent me them themselves, or another company that offers them sent them to me. I can't remember, but my OCD was not gonna let me skip these flavors, even though there is only two. So there's ingredients list, warning label, flavor, and nicotine levels on the bottle. Now these are the 10 milliliter bottles, and they're 488, but they are all zero nicotine, these 10 milliliter bottles. You have to get a 30 milliliter bottle which is $7.99 to have uh, nicotine in it and they have 0, 8, 16, and 24 milligrams for nicotine options. Now I looked on their website and I couldn't find a PG-VG ratio. It did say for maximum vapor so I'm assuming that's max VG but it did also state that they use a bunch of different unique blends for their PG-VG ratios so I don't think there is a set one. But anyways, this is the cotton candy and this is the mango flavor. Two flavors that sound really good to me and especially since I was at the food fair a couple weeks ago, I am definitely going to try the cotton candy one first. I haven't had a cotton candy vape in a hot minute, so stoked. These are child resistant, so they're tea approved. Now I'm not getting a very strong scent from these. I was hoping for a really strong cotton candy scent. And these are the hard plastic bottles, so it's a little difficult to squeeze, but the 30 milliliter bottles would obviously be easier. I'm not sure if those are glass or not, but these ones are plastic. All right, this is the cotton candy. I'm excited. It's a definitely a cotton candy flavor. It's not as intense as I was hoping for, and the vapor production is that it's not a lot, so maybe these are a more PG ratio. They're not bad, like they're not, it's not disgusting, but it's not as flavorful as I've had in the past when it comes to cotton candy flavors so that's kind of sad I wish it was a little stronger on the flavor there I, w I was hoping for like a super sweet sugary vape because those are the kinds that I like personally here is the mango Ooh, this one definitely smells like mango I'm glad that I can smell that literally guys I tried to dye my hair pink this has nothing to do with the review but this is what it came out to the day of like haven't even washed it and it's not baby pink disappointed anyways mango now i've had many mango vapes and this definitely tastes like mango kind of tastes like a candied mango again it's not a super intense flavor but i'm definitely preferring this mango over the cotton candy the mango is definitely stronger than the cotton candy flavor and it's definitely sweet it's a sweet like i said candy type mango mm. I do like that one. I think the cotton candy e-liquid flavor has a little room for improvement, but this one is really good. It, I mean, they both could stand a little bit stronger flavors on the forefront, but they're not disgusting. And they are super cheap. I mean, 30 milliliter bottle for $7.99. I mean, that one's pretty nice. If you like, if you don't like overbearing, overwhelming, super sweet, flavors and these are kind of toned down they'd be more for you but I am all about flavor and super strong super sweet but I'll put a link below where you guys can check out these e-liquids for yourself there's a lot other flavors on their website they only sent me two so those are the two I had for for you today and just a short video so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more reviews check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-juice mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter at Tia Vapes I also have a Facebook page Facebook Facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second vlog channel here on YouTube where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org or any of the other at vaping advocacy sites like Esfata, the Vaping Militia, AVA. There's a lot of organizations and groups 
experts out there that will that can help you understand what you need to do to fight for your right to vape. And so as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys.